Good morning. <laughs> All right, well, it was a good morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought it would stay there for a second. Oh, good morning, guys. I have to keep the camera up here. <laughs> um, yesterday was so much fun. In my last vlog, we ended up going to Storyland. So if you didn't check that out, please go check that out. I like just took out my extensions last night. I probably got like one more good day out of my hair before I get a wash. Today, I mentioned also in last vlog that we are having a family reunion today. It's not going to be anything huge but I have a lot of family from New York and we actually just visited New York a, a, like a couple weeks ago at this point for a baby shower. So it's like that family is coming up. Obviously not everyone is able to make it, which is totally okay. I love seeing the people who are able to make it. Um, you know, that's really exciting and stuff. So we are going to get ready for that. My mom did ask me to bring a dessert. So I had TJ go out and buy something. So I forget. I forget what he even bought because <laughs> we got home so late last night from Storyland and I really didn't want to go out because I still had to like feed Ella and everything. Okay. He bought a bunch of sushi, by the way. My husband loves sushi. Yeah, I love sushi. No, you're not having sushi right now. This is daddy's. Let's see what else he got. He got some sweet potato tempura rolls. Interesting. I don't like sushi, so... I'm not gonna be touching this on him. This one is spicy shrimp roll. And then he got one more. He got spicy salmon and tuna roll. Um, I, I wish I liked sushi merely for the fact he loves going to like sushi bars and stuff, but every time I go, like I have to find something else, which is fine. Like, I don't mind going with him, but we, you know, he avoids it for me, which I feel bad about. Like, you can get whatever you want. And then for dessert, I'm probably going to have to switch you guys around. Dessert, he got this fruited Boston cream pie. Um, it has, like, strawberries and blueberries on top, which is really yummy. So, yeah, we'll be bringing that to my mom's. Um, I asked him to pick up a bag of chips and a salsa. And I don't know what flavor of salsa he got. Let's see, he got, oh, just a medium restaurant style, which is good. Because my mom asked me, she's like, I need desserts and like snacky stuff. So Amber and I are helping her out with that. I don't know what Amber's bringing, but that's what I got. Anyways, I'm going to go hop in the shower. I've actually been trying to get into this routine of showering in the morning. I'm usually a nighttime shower, but to be honest, I kind of like showering in the morning. I just feel like fresher for the day. And then like I feel clean shaven. It's just nice. I'm trying to get into the groove of it. Um, you know, especially ow, Ella. <laughs> ow. While she picks up her toys, <laughs> I am going to um hop in the shower real quick and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit later once I'm dressed, figure out what I'm gonna wear. I need some water. It's okay, baby, not a big deal. But I'm so parched. Oh, here's another quick thing that stinks. I like have to call my dentist on Monday because I have a tooth. It was a cavity that is now decaying and the root is exposed. It's like, I had my wisdom teeth pulled out when I was 18. I actually still think I have my wisdom teeth, which is so weird. But I, have my, I have my wisdom teeth somewhere, but it's like the tooth that was next to the wisdom tooth, but like my entire jaw hurts. I can't eat anything on the side. I can't drink anything on the side. And I've been taking Tylenol like crazy because this is the only thing I can take when I'm pregnant. Um, so I took like three of these. Like I woke up, I went to bed at nine. I woke up at 11. I woke up at one. And then Ella woke me up again around seven, I think. And I had to take a Tylenol at 11 and at one because I, I couldn't sleep because of how much pain that I was in. So I just have to suck it up. I honestly just want the sucker pulled. <laughs> I, You know, if it's not like far enough along that they can fill it, sure. But my mom says she got a root canal and then still needed it pulled anyway. So I just wanna get the thing pulled. It's in the back of my mouth. I don't really care. I just want it out. It is so extremely painful. So that'll be fun pretty soon. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a vlog titled, I get my teeth pulled. <laughs> you like your bandana. You look beautiful. Oh, oh, and look at your bandana. 
Welcome, Mama. You got it, baby. <laughs> oh, get going, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, come on back, baby. Come on back. Woo! <laughs> Keep going, baby. <laughs> Keep going, baby. Keep going, baby. Keep going, Keep going, Keep going. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Here we got the adult sack race. <laughs> And I was about to find you. See you one day with Michael. Michael. I don't know. Maybe. Is that yummy? Watch out, he's a blueberry. A blueberry. <laughs> the family is about to head down to the lake. Ooh, so I need to grab Miss Ella's life jacket, which is somewhere in here. What are you doing? <laughs> so I'm like barely visible. <laughs> I'm out by the fire at the moment. Everybody went inside. Everybody's saying their goodbyes for the family reunion. They're all up there. <laughs> Anyways, we had a blast as normal. I love my family reunions. I love seeing everybody come from New York, but. I just want to let you guys know that it was the end of the night. Got some mug spray on. And we're going to be heading out soon anyways. I know you can't see me almost at all, but Mama's getting tired. <laughs> Come on. Hi. <laughs> I know it's a terrible angle. I'm sorry. I'm about to get her shoes on. Go ahead and sit for me, baby. So I'm going to oh. take her to the um, park today. But because school starting so soon in what like two weeks and here you <laughs> um, are guys when we're at chocolate mimi's and uh, going to the lake i was not that listening. was uh, at the family reunion right yeah and That's i didn't fun. listen yeah because you would yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go and we're gonna stop at the mall first because mm -hmm. i want to get some accessories but i'm not punished I'm not punished anymore. I got, I got my toys. <laughs> she got toys in trouble on. at the family reunion because she didn't walk with somebody down to the lake. And Mama got very scared and upset, so I took her toys away, right? Uh -huh, but I'm not punished anymore. Not anymore, but I was not happy yesterday, right? You don't do that. I know. Someone will take you away from me, girlfriend. Um, so I figured... And, and one of the cars were following me and they didn't see me yeah so, and then you'll be squished like a pancake yeah i don't want a pancake ella <laughs> <laughs> my back to school haul should have already been posted so you saw i got her some like headbands but i want to go get her some other accessories and forever 21 tends to have like really cute accessories yeah. all right yeah. you're good come on down so i can brush your teeth oh today i did not feel like dressing up <laughs> at all. I am wearing leggings and a t-shirt because I feel big and uncomfortable, so there's that. <laughs> all right, we managed to find a couple of items while we were here. Not that much though. Um, I noticed, at least at the Forever 21 that I used to work at, the um, selection of accessories was kind of dwindling. And I think there was rumor that like Forever was kind of, um, Kind of, kind of taking away the accessories a little. I don't know how true that is. Um, but we did find a couple things. I found like a little leopard print. I, I ended up for just recording um, kind of some footage in there without the audio because I didn't want to get demonetized. But we found like a little leopard print bow. We found um, this little like golden heart clip. And then last minute she found this like, it's like a pearl ponytail holder with a pink rose. And then I just found a pair of earrings that I liked um, and they were cheap, Wait, so. Those pure, pair 
open door actually for you. Well, yeah, baby, you can't wear hoops that big yet, boo. Um, but now we're on our way to the park to go hang out for a little while. <laughs> Ella, what movie were we seeing today? What one? Angry Farmer. <laughs> so it's been a little while since we um, saw the movie. We did like light grocery shopping, the three of us. Now they're at home about to have dinner because tonight we're going to head over to a high school for like a family movie night. And I think it's outdoors. So that'll be really interesting. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying to like, whenever I'm pregnant, the same thing happened with Ella. Whenever I'm pregnant, I crave salad. And while we're at the store, it's like a new place. Like I've never grocery shopped there. And everybody's been telling me grocery shop here. It's so much better. Like the quality is better. And I always knew like Walmart wasn't great for like food. You know what I mean? And their produce was kind of like that, nah, whatever. But I, I was so comfortable with it. Like I knew exactly where everything was and stuff. So I've just, I had shopped there for years. Anyways, we tried this new place and I ended up really, really liking it. Like there was a lot that they offered that like Walmart wouldn't have had. Um, their produce seemed a lot better. TJ got like a ton of sushi for the week for himself. So I'm really satisfied with it. Anyways, I had gotten myself a big Caesar salad that I was gonna like eat, you know, over the next couple of days. And then I love chicken salad in a salad. <laughs> so I picked up this little thing of chicken salad as well. And I didn't want to eat before Ella was eating. So I was just whipping up her something and she was going to be done in a couple minutes. So I said, okay, while her food is finishing cooking, I'm going to start putting together my salad. So I open up the salad and I take out the packets that came in it and I read the packets and I thought it was salad dressing at first, but it ended up being just croutons. So I'm like, all right, well, Oh, this guy doesn't know where the heck he's going. <laughs> what a dummy, oh my gosh. Um, they didn't end up, it, it came with croutons. So I'm like, okay, well, where's the salad dressing? And there's no dressing, so, which is fine. You know, I'll know that for the future, but now I'm literally heading to Walmart just because it's closer just to get some dressing so I can go home and eat real quick before our little family movie night tonight at one of the schools so that's what I'm doing and I've never like I don't know I've always just eaten a Caesar salad at the restaurant that I work at so I'm not really sure like what kind to get if you guys have a recommendation if you eat Caesar salad let me know one of Ella's toys is talking to me in the back seat let me know but otherwise we're just gonna go in real quick and uh hear that? <laughs> she must have forgot to turn the volume off. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Anyways, let's go in real quick. I want to fly home because I'm hungry and I was waiting for her to eat. So, uh, uh, sir, your, your children are out in the middle of the road. I'm not sure if you're aware. Oh, that's such a cool car though. I feel so stupid taking pictures of the car, but this is a really cool car. Should I? Mm, I don't want to be that person. It's like holographic. Like it's a bunch of different colors, like chrome, like different colored chrome. Pretty cool. Okay, so they have this one. They have this one. I think I'm gonna just go with this one. Sure, why not? On my way out, I managed to get a super quick glimpse of the car. <laughs> But I'm hungry and I want to go home to my salad. So this is what I got. So it's just like a large Caesar salad with cheese, pretty much just a lettuce, chicken salad that I added onto that. This is what I thought was the dressing in the package, but they're just garlic and butter croutons. And then of course my Caesar dressing. And I think I'm gonna have some Simply Lemonade and we're good. You sure? Thank you. Yes, yes please. please. Thank you. I got the blue raspberry and watermelon. And so did Ella. <laughs>
Today was such a weird day. <laughs> I didn't really do a whole lot today. That's why I didn't end up vlogging. Um, I'm making Ella some dinner right now. I ended up having an OBGYN appointment today. The, um, the update of my visit today would have already been out in a pregnancy diaries. Um, I think week 15 and 16, but today was just such a weird day. So I, you know, got to hear my baby's heartbeat today, which is really, really awesome. Um, if you saw that pregnancy diaries and I don't know, like right after my appointment, because we were already out, I took Ella out to play. And so she was playing and like goofing around and stuff. And you can hear, I'm gonna play a clip of her playing, but you can hear in the background, someone playing guitar. Somebody, like he was a dad, but he brought his two daughters and then he just takes out a guitar and starts playing and singing. Like it was just, I don't know, I've never seen someone do that like inside of a mall before. <laughs> oh, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> the same day, like, we had gotten lunch in the food court, and then we decided to stop at like a little Dunkin' Donuts that was right inside the food court as well to get a couple donuts. And the woman in front of me bought me a donut. Like, it was just so such a random day um and after i finished paying i wanted to go over and thank her but she was already gone so it was just like i don't know it was just like a like a it was like an uplifting day you know i got to hear my baby's heartbeat and then listening to someone play guitar is always nice and then someone like a simple act of kindness someone bought me a donut like I don't, it was just such a like what <laughs> kind of day? I don't know. I just figured I'd share it with you. Other than that, today hasn't been very exciting. This weekend, we're gonna be shopping for the very, very, very last minute items for her party, like chips and drinks and stuff like that. And we're gonna be ordering balloons. Can you believe her party is like, today for me is a Wednesday. So like not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. So like in a week and a half is her party. I'm sorry. What on earth? <laughs> 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 I don't know what the heck I'm going to do yet tomorrow with Miss Ella. Um, it's kind of like the one, one of the days that I don't have a lot going on. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> Tomorrow morning, I need to film the part two. It would have it, it would have already been out at this point, um, but the Japanese and Korean beauty box that I got this from, um, I need to film part two of that tomorrow. Uh, but I am kind of breaking down for the day. We just put Miss Ella off to bed. Um, but I just kind of want to give you guys a recap that I actually am <laughs> using the product, look at my ears, oh my goodness, um, that I am actually using the products that came in the box. Now at the moment, there are some products that I haven't tried uh, and that snail moisturizer is still upstairs. <laughs> um, but I actually, I wanna, I don't know if I should use a snail moisturizer at night or if I should use it in the morning, but it didn't seem to like break up my makeup. I, I try to avoid moisturizing before makeup because usually it will usually break up my foundation. But I think the day that I tried it and I put on my makeup, I don't think there was anything weird going on. So I might save that as my morning moisturizer because I do have a nighttime moisturizer here. Uh, it's just from Neutrogena, but it's like a deep moisturizer. It's a little bit thicker and I use thick moisturizers at night so that they have all night to sort of penetrate, you know, but we'll see this <laughs> on top of my super crazy August. It's more so the end of August that it gets really crazy. Like right now, um, you know, I mentioned to you guys already that my, uh, 
this weekend is just going to be kind of about buying last minute things for Ella's party. It's more like the last week of August into September gets crazy and it got even crazier because I just got invited to another baby shower. I already have one. We just had one in New York. I have my other cousins in September, September 7th, I don't know, like the second week of September. Now I just got another invite to one the first week of September. <laughs> so lots of, people's are ha lots of people are having babies. I need to start looking on Amazon for my gender reveal, just decorations. I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, I'm probably just going to have it at my mom's and she's planning like how we're going to be surprised. Um, but I still, you know, want to buy blue and pink decorations. So I have to keep that in mind. Uh, over like the first couple of weeks of September, I'll have to go and buy some decorations. So there's just party after party after party. And then I was told, cause I was, you know, I was talking to my mom about all these baby showers coming up and I'm like, well, thank goodness I don't have one. And she's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, I thought people only had baby showers for the first baby. She's like, no, she's like, you can have one. <laughs> so I'll be having another baby shower, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to plan it. I'm not great at planning anything. Um, I wasn't even expecting one to be honest with you so <sighs> I'm telling you I just need to get back into the groove like once you know Ella starts school once the party is over I feel like I'll be able to relax a little bit more Ella's party I'm talking about her birthday party it's not even thing, anything crazy you know it's just um oh, I just get so stressed out <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious and then with all the collaborations that I'm doing and all these videos coming up like I'm not complaining I just I, I don't you know I don't talk to anybody about this stuff so I'm just kind of venting to my camera at the moment but it's just like my life goes from like zero to a hundred like there's nothing going on or there's everything <laughs> going on and now I mentioned I don't even know at this point what video I mentioned it but I do remember briefly talking about wanting to do, wanting to film a morning routine because I've been a little, a little dry, dry on video ideas. I always feel like I'm going to run out of videos. So I start panicking and I'm just like, what do I film? <laughs> and you know, my vlogs definitely come in handy where like, I don't really have to think about it. I just live my life and record. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Um... But I had dropped the idea, I think probably in my last vlog or the one before that, not long ago, about doing a morning routine. But I wanted to do a morning routine when I was in a routine. You know, Ella was starting school. It was kind of like the same routine every day. I am off to bed. I got a lot of videos done today when we got home. After we played for a little while, we pretty much spent the rest of the day. We had dinner uh, and that was pretty much it. Ella played with a ton of Legos and I got some videos done. So it was a productive night, but I'm ready for bed, definitely. I'm gonna get off to bed. Um, I'm gonna go watch some Wentworth on Netflix. If you're a mature adult and you enjoyed uh, Orange is the New Black, which is officially done and so sad, but it was such a good show. Um, try Wentworth. It's like basically the Australian version of Orange is a New Black, but it's really, really, really good. And I'm like obsessed with it right now. So I'm going to go watch that and uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. We'll see how this weekend goes. We'll see how this month goes.